Thomas Jefferson was the third president of America, and most famous as the author of the Declaration of Independence and for his negotiation of the Louisiana Purchase with France, which doubled the size of the United States. He was born on April 13, 1743, in Albemarle County, Virginia. He was named after his grandfather, Thomas Jefferson II, a prominent landowner, militia captain, and justice of Chesterfield County, Virginia. Thomas Jefferson was raised on the family farm to a wealthy family and enjoyed the company of his six sisters and three brothers. He died on July 4, 1826, in Monticello in Virginia. The career of Thomas Jefferson included the roles of lawyer, politician, and statesman. He was such a good writer that he was one of five men chosen to write the Declaration of Independence. Johnson's library of approximately 6,000 books became the basis of the Library of Congress. He became the third U.S. president in 1801 and served for eight years until 1809. His wife died 19 years before he became president, so there was no first lady. Thomas Jefferson married Martha Wales Skelton on New Year's Day in 1772. Martha died 12 years later. They had six children, but only two survived to adulthood. On her deathbed, Martha asked her husband to promise that he would never remarry. Thomas Jefferson kept his promise, which led to a 38-year relationship with his mixed-race slave, Sally Hemings, with whom he fathered six children. Thomas Jefferson belonged to the Democratic-Republican political party. He was 57 years old when he was inaugurated as the third president. Aaron Burr and George Clinton stood as vice presidents. During his presidency, he worked tirelessly to keep the United States out of the French-Napoleonic Wars. Thomas Jefferson was an imposing figure, standing at 6 feet 2.5 inches. He owned slaves, which was common for men of his standing during his era. Thomas Jefferson initiated the custom of a president shaking hands, rather than bowing, to greet guests. His vibrant red hair turned sandy, then white, as he grew older. A 60-foot, 18-meter sculpture of his head is carved into Mount Rushmore as a monument to his many achievements. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. Thomas Jefferson was instrumental in drafting the Declaration of Independence and during his presidency. He led the nation to victory in the Barbary Wars between the U.S. and North Africa's Barbary states and negotiated the Louisiana Purchase of 1803 with France, which doubled the size of the United States. During his life, Thomas Jefferson suffered from tuberculosis, an infectious bacterial disease that primarily affects the lungs. Tuberculosis was also known as consumption, or the White Plague, reflecting the deadly nature of the disease, which was the cause of more deaths in America than any other during the 19th century. Thomas Jefferson died of natural causes, most likely dehydration, resulting from dysentery at the age of 84. His death occurred on July 4, 1826, in Monticello in Virginia, and he was buried at the family estate in Charlottesville. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams died within a few hours of each other on the 50th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence, July 4, 1826. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of America. He is most remembered as the author of the Declaration of Independence and for his negotiation of the Louisiana Purchase with France, which doubled the size of the United States. The next U.S. president was James Madison. This video is one of a series covering all of the American presidents and has been created by www.facts-about.org.uk as a free educational resource. This unique collection of videos has been developed to enable students to gain a fast overview of the lives of each of the U.S. presidents together with the key events which occurred during their presidency. Discover the range of videos that are available on the Facts About website and use them as a fast dynamic learning aid which will add variety to conventional study methods and help to increase knowledge retention.